Matthew Judge, better known as Dark Viper AU, is a GTA 5 speedrunner and content creator with a significant following. He began speedrunning in 2015 where he managed to achieve a time in GTA 5 Classic Any% percent of 8 hours, 47 minutes and 41 seconds. In the midst of speedrunning, he had graduated from the Swinburne University of Technology, achieving a Bachelor of Social Science, or as many colleges recognized the subject as psychology. At this time, he had shared his current accommodation with two roommates, which he would later purchase the property in 2022, becoming the sole occupant of the home. Throughout the early stages of his online career, he had branched out with his content, discussing politics, religion and philosophical topics in his rant series. He had also made How the Run Ended, where he uploaded the results of a failed attempt at speedrunning GTA 5. But every time I want an ego boost, I just go watch someone play this game casually. I can't believe you've done this. Not my fault. Casual person would have hit that though because they'd be going slow. I hate this game. When he did have successful runs of the game and achieved faster times, he had uploaded them to his YouTube channel to show others his achievements. Fast forward to 2017, Dark Viper had managed to cut his time down to 6 hours, 39 minutes and 12 seconds, achieving a new world record for Classic Any% percent, which garnered him respect from his peers and followers, even after other runners such as Torix LV and Burhank had beaten his records. He always managed to improve the record leading into 2018 where he would achieve a time of 6 hours and 28 minutes, with that being the furthest he could push the world record. Even outside of speedrunning the game, Dark Viper would enter the open world of GTA 5 in search for better optimizations and glitches to help the community out, garnering him even more respect from the other runners, and he had even managed to become a moderator for the speedrun leaderboards, something I myself had been in the Dead Space leaderboards at the time. And from experience, the job of a moderator can be a very tiresome one. Dark Viper at this time decided to move away from Classic Any% percent and move into other categories of the game, allowing other runners to best his times and records, and to push him further away from the world record. The success from speedrunning had granted him respect from other speedrun related channels, however in 2018 Dark Viper would make himself known to another YouTuber who had given out their disdain towards a charity event that didn't want to be associated with our white goose who had been outed as a white supremacist, with a lot of screenshots to back up the allegation. In Apollo Legends video, he cherry picks the information to make the situation look as idiotic as possible, leaving out crucial information that led people to believe our white goose wasn't who they thought him to be, due to being friends with him at the time. Dark Viper saw the video and decided to put out his own video, criticizing Apollo for this in a now deleted video calling the YouTuber scum, which had led to a back and forth between the pair. Public opinion at the time had primarily been on Dark Viper's side, due to how other creators voicing their own opinions and covering the story, and Dark Viper's views were completely justified at the time. However, at the end of 2018, another user known as Rydog had chimed into a discussion being made on the GTA speedrunning Discord, with friendly Baron telling him that the topic doesn't concern him as he isn't a runner, when Rydog had done a speedrun in the past. But when attempting to put his run back on the leaderboard, Dark Viper had rejected it. Now if you don't know, when a moderator rejects a run, they have to give a reason to the person who submitted the run, as this a requirement in the process. The reason for the rejection was labelled issues. When this was brought up in the discord, people began to speculate against Dark Viper as to what issues meant, as it's not a good enough explanation as to why the run was to be rejected. Dark Viper would initially give the explanation that with the changes to the run's FPS cap, it would make Rudog's run unbeatable. Which begs the question if that was to be the case, then why not make a miscellaneous category for the specific FPS cap that Rudog's run applies to, rather than simply rejecting it altogether? Throughout the discourse, Dark Viper would bring up the issues presented when Rudog was a moderator, that he lied to other moderators in order to get other mods removed, but then furthers this with, he achieved it without any discussion, which makes absolutely no sense, as how can someone lie 
if there was no discussion or conversation. The next reason to reject future runs was due to his lack of interest in speedrunning the game. That RuDog had previously removed his runs before, he also spammed in the forums. And that RuDog was posting the run submission with the message, I am a runner. He brought up other reasons not relating to the submission itself, which highlights moments of disdain for the runner, and allowing his baggage to roll over his judgement as a moderator, which the members of the Discord and other speedrunners called him out for. Especially when Dark Viper makes a sickening analogy comparing the previous actions of RuDog to the actions of a rapist. Even though it isn't comparable in the slightest, and others were clearly offended by the comparison being made here. Every single argument Dark Viper presented had been met with, if the run is a legit speedrun, then there should be no reason to reject it, even if it is an unbeatable run in the current FPS cap rule. Unfortunately, there is no visible run on the leaderboard under the name RuDog, so Dark Viper had allowed his personal bias to get in the way of moderating the leaderboard, allowing personal feelings to cloud his judgement and had lost the respect of other runners and members in the Discord in the process. But this isn't where it would end, as Dark Viper would upload a rant to his channel called RuDog, Torix, and My Descent into Depression, which had been deleted, presumably due to the backlash of the community. Presumably the video had been blaming these two individuals for his spiralling mental health, which is disgusting, considering this was due to his own inability to moderate the leaderboards fairly without his personal bias getting in the way. As let's not forget, in his own perception, he is always the victim, never is he in the wrong. Everyone always lies about him, which is something he would continue to twist into 2019, when he would get his revenge on Friendly Baron. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Following the past controversy in the Discord, members of the speedrun community would voice their concerns about a new method, save warping. Friendly Baron and others would voice their issues with the method of zipping around the map due to ruining the flow of the speedrun, and that the method was slightly inconsistent, but was put to a public vote and the community ruled that it was to be allowed in Classic Any%. Percent. This had made Friendly Baron noticeably upset about this, and he took to Twitch to voice his opinion on the matter, ranting about the technique and about Dark Viper, which made Dark Viper angry at him. However, Friendly Baron would soon issue an apology to both his audience on his stream and towards Dark Viper. However, like a venomous snake, Dark Viper would hold on to this discourse, gripping it in his coils to be later used. In April 2019, Dark Viper had gotten into a series of arguments in the speedrunning Discord with Friendly Baron and others, where he had been picking apart their arguments against the safe warping and going line by line to write up essays, along with putting his own opinion of what their intentions and thoughts had been while arguing with them. With Baron telling him what he thinks isn't what they meant or even said in their arguments. Within this discussion, Dark Viper went back into a corner had brought up other strats of the speedrun to create the argument of a slippery slope, even when those other strats are not even relevant to the current discussion. He had also brought up that Baron had openly called his audience to brigade him when he had already apologised for that. Friendly Baron remarks that the way Dark Viper had been conducting himself and the arguments he had been using had been toxic, demeaning and hurtful to their feelings, along with carrying himself with the sense of superiority. It is unknown what the outcome of the discussion was, but one thing was for certain, Dark Viper was going to run the community how he wanted to. It was either his way or the highway. And if you were against him, you effectively signed your own harassment warrant. Later on in August, Dark Viper had decided to make a new drama against Friendly Baron, with free videos declaring his war against him, which shows us a specific tactic Dark Viper likes to use throughout the rest of his career, which is taking someone out of context to show off his own superiority and to win arguments. In a rant about Friendly Baron, Dark Viper shows us a few moments from Friendly Baron's speedrun, all stunt jumps, which had been from around April time, 
The clips shows us Friendly Baron mentioning Dark Viper and his disdain towards him. As previously mentioned, Dark Viper had been making himself a very unlikable character in the Discord and on the leaderboards, which results in people memeing on him, to which he does not like this. What? Oh, come on, game. Come on. I've pulled that off so many times. Frickin' frick. Just change my IRL username. I'm tempted actually to change my name. Uh, I'm, I know my parents would hate it, but actually, if I'm gonna go full time, it'd be a really smart move to change my name. That's a freaking. Yeah. I don't need to explain what just happened there. Right? That's that's the thing. I don't I don't yell what or be like, ah, failed. You guys are smart enough to know when something fails. That's the way I treat my community. Hey, McCarthy. Shut up. Honestly. Sorry. I'm getting really tired of people coming here. It's the same, like I said, it was the same thing with Bruffy when I first started streaming. The first like three months of my stream was just Bruffy jokes over and over again as I tried to make my own thing. It's, uh, it's pretty tilting. Next one, no matter what. Yeah, much better, Demetrius. Thank you. You know, I know he's another runner, but it's just... Oh my god, it's so annoying, man. I'm legit tired of it. I work very hard to uh, finish runs and be a completionist, and I'm happy to be appreciated for a little bit. I'm gonna finish the city section, even though this run's dead as heck. I'm not talking bad about the other speedrunner. It's, it's fine, Michigan, man. It's, it's, it's fine. We're, we're okay right now. Thank you, though. But yeah, it's, it's a medium point. You know, I was saying earlier, like, some people enjoy watching someone get really mad about the game, watching someone fail over and over again. That, that's just not the kind of entertainment I like to have. If that does not entertain me, therefore I cannot make it my own style of entertainment, so. Rans dead. Baron, you can't say runs dead. Dark Viper says runs dead. It's a play. So, okay, here's the one thing. Uh, first of all, the guy who's trying to spam me. Uh, first of all, I get t almost 10 times the views on YouTube as this guy, uh, and I'm not shit-talking him at all. I'm just, I'm trying to make my own community. Uh, Thank you. I'm trying to make my own community, uh, so it's actually him that is salty. Uh, neither of us really have to be salty, though. Neither really is. Uh, we're just different people. Mm -hmm. However, uh, he does cultivate a type of viewer that does uh, spam and cause stuff like that quite often. Uh, in my YouTube comments, uh, it's really tiring, because I know you guys are usually joking, but my YouTube comments are usually filled with really hateful people uh, that really are, you know, they follow him blind, you know, not blindly, but they just follow him directly. Um, so that's why on my YouTube, on Twitch here, I'm kind of trying to keep that away, because it just reminds me of the people on YouTube doing it. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm specifically trying to talk, stop people from trash talking him. That is actually what I've been saying. Um, yeah. Are you sure you are Inform yourself and stop being a dickhead. Oops, I messed up there. Also, if someone's gonna be a dick, he's got ten times the followers I do, but only twice the viewers. Suck my dick, it's not a competition. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. If you thought the beginning clips weren't anything to bat an eye over, Dark Viper would just simply call you wrong, as he shows his lack of understanding when addressing why he doesn't like Friendly Baron. The intention of the video had been to highlight his frustrations with another speedrunner, all the while making him look crazy with a few notable mentions of how Dark Viper fans don't talk shit to him, when you can clearly see in the casual versus speedrunner videos from Baron's channel that Dark Viper fans had been going after him with little to no understanding of what they had even been talking about. No one shit talks Baron. Whenever anyone in the entire time that I've known him said something like, oh, I got banned in Baron's channel, like, you probably fucking deserved it. But more on this in a little bit. He further goes into how he had never said anything bad about Baron, which is true, but it doesn't mean that he never did anything to upset Baron, as from his own message we can clearly see that Dark Viper had demeaned him in arguing for save warping. This is where he twists the focus into him being such a good, outstanding member of the community. But I've kept my fucking silence for months, and I keep getting sent these clips, man. He keeps being an asshole, and I'm sick of it. I don't like the guy. I'm a, I consider myself a truthful person. I like to be honest about my feelings. It perhaps is all fault sometimes. I don't like skirting around this issue. I don't like Baron. He seems to be a terrible person. Dark Viper goes out of his way to communicate that he thinks that he is a truthful person, which isn't exactly true, as taking things out of context to suit a new narrative isn't being truthful, but the audience at the time didn't know what was happening behind the scenes, and Dark Viper capitalized off of that misunderstanding. The motivation for the video, in his own words, is, I don't like Baron, he seems to be a terrible person. May I remind you that friendly Baron has only been guilty of ranting about Dark Viper once apologizing for it, making mentions of Dark Viper in his streams, and being against his stance on save warping. In Viper's worldview, this means that you are a terrible person. 
Another point Dark Viper goes into is when Friendly Baron had called someone out on Reddit for taking a clip from one of Viper's speedruns, showing him flying a blimp over to the next mission without giving credit to the runner. However, Viper spins this around to make him look like a terrible person. Like, I had this clip go viral. You may have seen it. A lot of people saw it. But of course, you know, who's the first person who's always tagged? Friendly Baron. Of course, it's just a small mistake. Of course, Friendly Baron will correct it. Uh, no, he never corrects it, of course. Never. Someone else has to tag me. And what does he say? Who am I? Oh, that guy he tags, speedruns the game, the clip is taken from the speedrun, the footage itself has been stolen from another speedrunner's video and re-uploaded without credit to anyone in the speedrun community. This is my fucking clip. I made this clip. And makes out what Baron is saying here is that Viper was stealing content from another runner, which isn't true as his comment wasn't directed towards Dark Viper, but rather the person who posted the clip as the user who shared it was called the King Button, not Dark Viper AU. All of this was intended to portray himself as a victim of Friendly Baron, when in reality, Friendly Baron did nothing wrong here. A funny note to make here is when Dark Viper says, When I made my apology, what were people writing there? That I'm a fucking coward and I should apologize to Baron because he makes such better content than me. I get this too, but the difference between me and Baron is I don't rant at his viewers on stream. I don't rant at him on stream. I don't send him fucking emails. Which isn't true, given that he is now going on a rant and he had sent a bunch of emails towards him in the past. The next part of the video goes on a tangent about safe warping and Baron's dislike about the subject, all the while making himself look like a victim of Baron. After this point, he brings up all of the optimizations he had made in the GTA 5 speedruns, and yet he isn't mentioned in Baron's series, Casual vs. Speedrunner. Which you don't need to have a degree in social science to understand that Baron doesn't need to credit someone who wasn't featured in the video, or when he didn't use clips from Dark Viper's channel. What, does everyone who speedruns the game need to make an honorable mention of Dark Viper whenever they do a strat, skip, or technique he found? The the entirety of the video can be summed down to Baron mentions some things Viper didn't like in his stream, therefore goes on a rant condemning him as a terrible person, which isn't justifiable in the slightest, which to the other runners who saw it called him out for being a coward. Because anyone with a developed brain can see that Dark Viper's perception of the truth doesn't stem from reality, but rather his own fantasy. When coming under fire from the backlash of this video, Dark Viper goes into full damage control and makes a new one about Friendly Baron the following day. Friendly Baron is far from friendly, where he makes it known why he is making the video because Baron had been shit-talking him, which gets under his skin enough to make another video condemning the speedrunner for his grave transgressions of memeing on an irrelevant speedrunner. I'm Dark Viper. I'm five seconds behind after four minutes. I'm gonna reset. Dead. Gonna reset. Like Dark Viper. <clears throat> My name's Dark Viper, and I could be a sniper because I kill so many runs. He goes on about not intending on ranting about Friendly Baron the previous day, when he went out of his way to make an edited version to further condemn him in a video, so from this we can see that the video was very much intentional, just not very effective. He then proceeds to cry about being called a bully by Baron, and cries about being blocked by him on Twitter, which was entirely his own fault, because Dark Viper can't handle it when someone either talks about him in a negative light, or when someone criticizes him, which the things Baron says about Viper here is laughable compared to what you would hear in the old lobbies of Modern Warfare 2. Oh, those were the days. I could just imagine Viper seething, foam frothing from the mouth while making a video after someone called him a bully online. He goes through the tweets Baron had made on Twitter defending himself in an attempt to debunk them, but instead makes himself look even worse, showing how he lied in his original video. Let's stop here and address all these things. This sentence is meant to imply that I kept the footage for malicious purposes, that I was planning this all along rather than it being what it was, an outburst of a man who's had enough. But of course, if you know anything about me, I don't delete anything. I don't keep anything organized. This is my desktop. This is my old desktop files. Here are all my hard drives. They're just chock full of random crap that I will never delete. I will just keep buying hard drives. I will keep it all. I'm a content creator. Who knows why I'll need some of these things? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? 
Bam wants to imply that, you know, he felt bad and just emailed me to apologize for the things that he said about me. But of course, Baron didn't email me, I emailed him. What? I don't send him fucking emails. But of course, Baron didn't email me, I emailed him. What a fucking liar, dude. What a fucking Weasley little liar, dude. What a fucking Weasley little liar, dude. Holy shit. You can clearly see he sent free emails to him until Baron responded in April 2019 when this video was made in August 2019. Also, love the fact that Viper himself says that he hates dishonesty in general. If you know anything about me, I don't like being lied about and I don't like dishonesty in general. Throughout this video, Viper had tried so hard with mental gymnastics to condemn friendly Baron and to declare his superiority over him, even bringing things up that are irrelevant to try and prove that Baron is an awful person, which is a consistent trend of his throughout his career. A need to be seen as always right, even when he isn't right. He then tries to use a point of the water tower trick not being credited to Dark Viper when it wasn't even his clip. It seems that Viper made the video to get back at Baron for not recognizing him or giving recognition when there was no need to do so as he didn't use his clips and didn't mention him in his videos. However, he comes out with a new grievance. The only person credited in the video, the strats too dangerous for the GTA 5 speedrun was Burhack. And Dark Viper shows his fangs over this because he was the one who found the strats but Burhack was credited instead. Which you don't need to credit someone who found the strat as the video wasn't a speedrun progression video. But I guess when talking about speedrun strats, we must make a list of who found what so we can mention the founder of the strategy when we perform said trick. Give me a break. He's no longer as explicit as he was in insulting me in the past. Now it's more implicit. A jab here, a jab there, an insult to vague speedrunners who do a particular thing. Uh, you know, he shadow bans my name in chat. He, you know, you time out anyone who says anything even related to me or my chat. Because that's what decency and respect is to Friendly Baron. If you can't serve his purposes, be discarded. So the first video was about him talking about you too much. Now you bring up the argument that he is not referencing you or talking about you anymore. Make your mind up, you man-child. The fact that this adult thinks Baron insulted him is laughable, as all he is doing is answering questions from the chat and memeing on Viper as Dark Viper has a reputation of resetting his runs when something doesn't go to plan. If you have an argument with this guy, say for instance one, two, or maybe even three years ago, you can bet he has screenshotted it and has put it into a random hard drive he hoards around his house just so he can one-up you in the future. Sounds kind of like an obsession rather than simple content creation. The ending to the video is to make himself look like a complete victim rather than a responsible adult. The last video in this chain came out the next day and Dark Viper says that he's afraid that he'll be coming off as petty but that's exactly how he came across as in the first two videos. But he furthers this by saying that he just can't sleep because of all of this. He needs more closure. Which if this was to be the case then Dark Viper needed to go and see his doctor or to seek therapy. But I literally can't fucking sleep. I need more closure. Right. He makes the video to show people that he had been nice to Baron in the past, when in the past Dark Viper's attitude had been one to show his superiority over his peers and being condescending towards those who disagreed with him. He continues to paint friendly Baron to be a liar when highlighting a comment, and Viper cries about this, showing that he is involved with the community, but the truth here is that Baron had said the rest of the community, and Viper specialised in GTA 5 speedrunning, and did not partake in the rest of the series, aka the rest of the community. So Baron didn't lie, but could have addressed the comment a bit clearer had he thought Viper would be slivering nearby, screenshotting everything. Throughout the video, Viper tries to come up with anything that will stick to paint Baron as a liar and a hypocrite, all because he didn't give him credit for the mere mention of a strat Viper had found. Yeah, that's the level of maturity we're dealing with here. Later on, he says that only he has been the one to do the water tower trick in speed 
speedrunning, which is kind of disingenuous, like, have you seen every single speedrun of the game? That's like me saying that I've only been the one to do the Chapter 9 skip in Dead Space when you can see others had used the trick in their speedruns. And bad response, actually, I name dropped Burhack this episode, if you notice, so... Okay, I guess. When making Casual vs. Speedrunner, who does he talk to? The people who have years of knowledge and experience? No, the two people with the least experience. 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 Which further shows Dark Viper's need to be known as a superior speedrunner in the eyes of his peers and to be recognized as that. You were like a fucking fool. Because I got to live with the memories, you see, of all the times someone said, hey, look what Baron's saying about you. I'm like, well, that is needlessly cruel and hurtful. I mean, but, you know, I'll just keep being nice. Oh, he'll eventually come round. I mean, he said he would, right? He's He can't be that bad a person. He's his fellow speedrunner, man. We're meant to help each other. Dude, Dark Viper. You are literally twisting evidence to suit your own narrative. Yes, you went into the open world game, found the glitches, did a bit of glitch hunting to better optimize the run. However, when in the showcase, these clips that are showcased in Friendly Baron's video are not your clips. Therefore, Friendly Baron doesn't need to give you a shout out if he doesn't feel like it. Get over yourself. Some people commented in the previous episode that I called Baron's viewers ignorant. That's not what I was saying. I was saying they were unknowing of his misdeeds, and Baron's only hope was to keep them unknowing of his misdeeds. Because he has no defense, he has to block everyone, delete all the comments in any way referencing this. It's his only hope that he has. I was even criticized by someone that I've known for a long time for besmirching Baron's reputation. This should just have been kept quiet. No, no viewer should have known about any of Baron's misdeeds. It's funny and kind of pathetic, but I actually tried to do that if you recall. I made an apology. It was vague, in no reference to anything Baron might have done to set me off. I was like, look, guys, if you didn't see it, it's, it's not a big problem. Just don't worry about it, man. This can all go away. Like, people called me a coward. The best way to keep things private is to shout about it from the rooftops, apparently. He furthers this by bringing up his vague apology after making the rant public, then says, but the world is not just, and sometimes bad people do succeed. And to that I say, that is the most truthful thing Dark Viper has ever said, as he is a successful hack. The video series would garner him a lot of attention from his fans and a lot of hate towards Baron after twisting things to make Baron look as bad as possible and to make himself look like the victim. However, people in the speedrunning scene had begun to see who Dark Viper AU really was and that was a manipulative liar, someone who twists the truth for sympathy. The following year, Dark Viper makes it known that a series of channels sharing the name Mad, insert character name here, had been stealing his content which was further from the truth, telling people that the channel had been ripping off his content when they made the same type of content. But rather, he says that the series Glitches You Don't Know is his series, so a blatant snatch and steal was used here, downloading the content and just simply re-uploading it. However, upon closer inspections, the videos are not exact copies. While Dark Viper makes the video with his own commentary, the Mad Trevor channel keeps it silent, not providing a commentary. So not exactly the same content being produced here. The same idea and glitches being showcased, but that isn't to be considered stealing content. Otherwise, you could consider commentary channels to be stealing content from everybody, since they all talk about the same topics, which isn't the case. However, the only point of reference to his own content he makes are the chapter names. The narrative for this video is, someone is stealing his thunder. Only he is allowed to make GTA 5 glitches you don't know content. And remember, he says the channel is clickbaity when his channel contains clickbait too, making him a hypocrite. However, at the end of the year, a complete tragedy would occur when Apollo Legend sadly took his own life. However, before committing to the act, he made sure to give Dark Viper and Escape some lasting remarks when he thanks them 
for pushing him over the edge. Dark Viper then went to make his own video in response to this and gave his thoughts about Apollo and what he had done. However, instead of putting him on blast, Dark Viper put all the facts down on the table which gave him more sympathy from his peers, fans and fellow creators. The way Dark Viper goes about the response here is actually very commendable and respectful, considering the grief Apollo Legend had caused him, which shows that Dark Viper has the ability to show restraint. It is just a pity that he only shows restraint when talking about these subjects, as in the future we will see moments where restraint should have been applied, but none was used. For the past year, Dark Viper had been grinding to make a real difficult achievement be known on his channel to be the very first person to finish the game. GTA 5 from beginning to end without taking any damage. A feat that hadn't been seen before and with every attempt, Dark Viper would get really close to achieving his goal, but would fail in the last heist. However, a new runner to GTA 5 would attempt the challenge, and on the 16th of May 2021, unnamed, would achieve the feat of being the first person to beat GTA 5 without taking any damage. This shocked the community, where everyone had given a huge wave of support to the new runner, only for Dark Viper to give a very disgusted response. One could imagine your completion of this run would have been a relief. This is not so. Ultimately, all the suffering I went through now matters far less. An achievement I coveted can now never be obtained, regardless of what I do. The eons that I have fallen behind in speedrunning, potentially to never recover, was spent on a quest that can never be completed. Given this context, what sort of response did you expect from me upon your success? A hug? Your success here does me no favours. On the contrary, it makes my life considerably worse with the added fun that I will need to field questions about this from dawn till dusk. Why on earth would I want to associate with someone who took a solved category and hoarded optimizations for months until they beat the current best? Again, if you did this for any speedrun with an active community, people would rightfully spit on you. Unnamed, however, refuted the claims that he withheld information and hoarded optimizations, stating that he tried to communicate with Dark Viper, but was ignored by him. Dark Viper's response can easily be summed up to playing the victim card again, stating the continued knowledge that I was running at a disadvantage with a quickly running out clock caused me to prioritize doing runs even when I should have been recovering from illness or fulfilling other obligations. In my attempt to beat this clock, I suffered mentally, physically, financially, and in terms of people's perception of my character. Remember what I said about restraint? Well, Dark Viper's fans would see this and attack unnamed, and Dark Viper did nothing to quell the hate-filled comments calling the run fake and cheated. So another responsible speedrunner known as English Ben and some of the moderators of the GTA 5 speedrunning leaderboards went into an active investigation of Unnamed's no damage run and found it to be a legitimate run. The fact that Dark Viper went full man-child mode because someone beat him to the punch is hilarious and just shows that he would rather act like a baby rather than congratulating someone else on a job well done. But if the shoe was on the other foot, Dark Viper would have used this to make himself look like an even bigger victim. I mean, if he wasn't busy making terrible content, then maybe he could have achieved the challenge first, right? However, Dark Viper then goes on to doing something even more unhinged. He bans Unnamed from the GTA speedrunning Discord, and then made it a rule to never mention the runner by name, otherwise those who do will also be banned. If Dark Viper was experimenting to find more ways 
to alienate himself from the GTA speedrunning scene, then he certainly succeeded, as this would put another nail in the coffin for his biased ruling of the speedrun discord. However, funnily enough, Unnamed would further his achievements by destroying all of the world records for the GTA 5 speedrunning leaderboards, achieving a time of 5 hours, 40 minutes and 27 seconds just two months ago in classic any percent. However, leading into 2022, we will come to see that Dark Viper would pick a fight with another notable speedrunner, but this speedrunner would fight back and win the argument. But, but, Sarah, please stop sniveling and hold still. Can you kiss her? The interaction between Beats Down began when Dark Viper had been running a category in KO Perico GTA Online. So Beats Down decided to watch him to see how he was getting on. Seeming that he was a world record holder for some of the categories in GTA Online. However, when Beats Down makes a mention of Dark Viper not reading a donation while running the game, Viper decided to mute him for one remark. Beats Down then made a community post about the event that reads, Just been told about Dark Viper AU watching my How to Speedrun K.O. Perico in under 30 minutes guide, as he was trying to learn how to do it. He spent at least an hour going through the preparations. I then joined his stream and pointed out he didn't read a message from a guy who donated, so he mutes me. Needless to say, he in the chat got everything else wrong that he was meant to do during the finale. In a now deleted video titled YouTuber attacks me for not reading donations. Really? And Dark Viper wonders why people think he's a professional victim. Acts like a jackass, gets called out, attacks someone, gets backlash, begins to cry. <laughs> and then says everyone is attacking and lying about him. Maybe this 33 year old man baby needs to go back to school. In the beginning, Dark Viper reads out the community post and follows the reading by swiftly saying without a moment to even think about what he's going to say, everything here is a lie, which I'm not overly surprised at this point as he later goes out of his way to cry about everyone else lying about him for drama reasons, which makes no sense at all. However, Beast Down goes through the arguments provided by Dark Viper AU and debunks them all, showing that Dark Viper wasn't a reliable narrator and will lie about things to win arguments, to which he will later contradict himself when he needs to make others look bad. My favourite part about the response, however, is when Dark Viper, a speedrunner who didn't know how to run the category, then says how the K.O. Perico guide on Beats Down's channel was out of date. I was not learning from his how to speedrun K.O. Perico in under 30 minutes guide, because even as ignorant as I was prior to starting the stream, I knew his guide was massively out of date. This is way out of date, no one should use it. When he had only just started running the category and was new to it. Especially given Beats Down's response was that the guide was made in April 2022 and the date of his response was in November 2022. And Beats Down had in-depth knowledge of the run considering he beat the world record on console, while Dark Viper AU could only achieve a time of 19 minutes and 34 seconds at his very best. After destroying Dark Viper AU throughout the video and highlighting his lies, he then shows a clip of Dark Viper saying, look at how many likes he gets compared to comments. As Beats Down comes to this point, he shows what Dark Viper is trying to do here, using the argumentum ad populum strategy in winning the crowd over, which is the fallacy that presumes that something that is popular must be correct when that isn't always the case. Just because someone has a lot of subscribers doesn't necessarily mean they are telling the truth or making a good point. Beast Down destroys Dark Viper in just one video, highlighting where Dark Viper had been lying about all of his points and showed evidence to back himself up, catching him out in a web of lies, which is something he does consistently whenever he is in hot water within the community. For all of the videos mentioned in this video, however, I will be linking them down in the description below so you can go and watch for context. 
With this video, we have seen how Dark Viper AU is willing to twist the truth to make himself seem like a complete victim, with a couple of exceptions here and there, highlighting moments of his thin skin when it comes to showing how others perceive him, telling his audience everyone had been lying about him and crying about it on Twitter, going on about how other channels are stealing his content when they had been making the same type of videos as him, and going on the attack against people he doesn't like, but when the waves of backlash come back to swallow him whole, he cowers in a delusionary bubble. However, this is only just the beginning to this mini-series, as there is a lot more to cover on his channel, where we will see more of this in future videos and responses to other creators who chime in on the subjects he either cultivates or talks about. And soon we will come to the conclusion of how Dark Viper AU had become a lol cow within the community that is probably worse than Tipster or dare I say, Mama Max. Like why would I talk or watch a guide from some random person whose strats are massively outdated when I can just like talk to the person who actually has world record? Well, I currently hold console speedrun world records for series A, the Pacific Standard, Doma Casino Silent and Sneaky Approach, the Keo Perico as a co-op, Keo Perico Solo on PlayStation and second on console overall, as well as many of the auto shop contracts. Dark Viper holds speedrun world records in absolutely nothing. <laughs> Time rapping, you see what goes down. We're done here. It's a wrap. Champion, hot just won that. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, then hit the like button, comment your thoughts below, and I look forward to hearing from you. Sign up to join the British Alliance today by hitting that subscribe button and ringing in the notification bell. A special thank you goes out to the PSEC members Hammond, Sith Lord 906, Killer 1260v2, Art Gains, Stabber OP Sig, Bronze 189, Aero Solano, and to the Legend members Michael Boss. Hunter Biden's laptop and Afron 2371. Your support helps me out even more so and I really appreciate that and I will see you all next time. But be sure to leave this video having a good one. Hey!